Yeah, I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready for my partner's birthday. And I just got a comment that made me really feel like people don't understand universal law and truth. You can't get a virus unless you're in fear. It's not possible. So if you're staying in your house in fear that you're gonna catch a virus, then the moment that you go out of your house in fear, you probably will catch it. But if you're going out of your house because you're expanding in love, expansion is the key to staying alive. The moment that you signal to the universe that you're done expanding, that's when you go into death. So I just want you guys to understand that it's not humanly or vibrationally possible for you to get sick if you are expanding with love. Enjoy. So go outside. If you get sick, then it serves your expansion. Understand that like sickness that. just cut me off just in perfect amount of time. Because I know people are not going to understand what I'm saying when I say that if you get sick, it is to serve your expansion. But it is, let me turn this music down. It is to say that when we suppress our emotions and we don't deal with our trauma, that that's when it comes up physically. We don't just get sick for no reason. Yes, people can be born with uh, disabilities or have um, dependencies and things of that nature where they chose that experience because everything is a choice. The thing is that we have to get out of this victim mentality, this victim consciousness. Yes, bad things happen to us, but you are not going to get targeted by a virus unless you are a vibrational match to that virus. So get out of feeling that fear that something in this universe is against you and know what power you have and that you are an infinite, beautiful creation of God. And he yeah, sent you down experience here. and that is to experience this human physicality to create something and to bring all that you learned back to your creator. So go create something. Stop living in fear. It is absolutely not what you came here to do. Trust me, if you've ever experienced a near death experience, you'd know that death is the most blissful experience of relief that you'll ever experience. And you wouldn't fear it anymore. We so have to stop away. living in fear because living in fear is not living. It's fearing death. You came here to live and have a human experience, so go have those experiences. I get that there's a lot of anxiety in the collective. And unless you come and you, sh you share your light, you actually go outside and see that it's safe, you're gonna stay frozen and you're not gonna shift the consciousness. So I invite you all, go out and do whatever it is that you're telling yourself you shouldn't do because you're gonna get a virus. Like, please, like, just stop. Just stop. That's not even how sickness works. It's not. So don't suppress your emotions. If there's something coming up for you that you're afraid of, go in and heal it. Look at it. What is oh. it telling? <laughs> like, I have half my hair curled now. But something else just come up. And maybe I'll just do energy updates like this so I can just preach on the spot. Because as I just finished those other snaps and I started doing my hair, I got... I hear your guys' questions when I do these videos. Um, and I heard something about President Trump. I want you to understand that President Trump is a very emotional creature. <laughs> and because everyone's going, oh my God, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Whenever I get in it, like music just starts playing out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> he's a very emotional creature. And because everybody's being so mean to him, he just canceled the stimulus check. And like, I get that it's an election and whatever, but I just want you guys to understand that we are all one. Even President Trump is is one with you. So I mean, like, we can go back and forth all day about opinions, about people's character, but understand it's just a role and a character that they're playing. And we have to start taking one another as each other or else we're gonna continue this madness. Like it's absolute fucking madness. Like I just want you to try, just I invite you for a day. Just send positive, loving, compassionate, desire to connect feelings towards every single creature that you meet or experience like throughout your day. I don't care if it's like somebody that just comes to your mind, send them love. 
Forgive yourself for feeling that hatred towards people because we have to stop this, guys. It's enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you want the world to be a better place, be a better person. I love you all so very much. Take my energy as me sending you love and not me being super mad. I'm just... Ah, 